So I recently returned to Destiny 2 with the Into the Light update, and it's good news that I did because one of the most ridiculous weapons has become obtainable from this new event and from the new activity onslaught, and this is the Forbearance. Now you may be thinking, why would I get this new Forbearance when I could go run Vow the Disciple and get a crafted version with enhanced perks on it? And while you're right that you can do that, a lot of people that don't have Forbearance or don't want to go farm that raid to try to get a crafted crafted version could much more easily go farm this new forbearance and some of the perk combinations on this new forbearance are so ridiculous that I think this is actually a better possible role than the forbearance from Vow the Disciple. And this starts with the origin trait, which is indomitability, which reads final blows grant grenade energy when playing a light subclass or melee energy when playing a darkness subclass. And this is 5% for each and it does not have a cooldown. So if you're getting a bunch of kills, it's going to be stacking up that 5% energy. So right off the bat, I think the origin trait can be much better than the raid forbearance, especially if you're doing the new onslaught activity, which is where you farm for this weapon. Now this weapon further differentiates itself with with the trait in column one we're taking, which is Demolitionist. Kills with this weapon generate grenade energy. Activating your grenade will also reload this weapon. The reload after using your grenade is a three second cooldown, and that'll actually help you quite a bit, but we're gonna be getting ridiculous amounts of grenade energy because every single kill you get, Demolitionist will be giving you 11% of your grenade energy. And again, this will stack. So if you get a bunch of kills, you'll just be getting massive amounts of your grenade back on every single shot of Forbearance. And this weapon is already ridiculous at giving you ability energy, but then we can mix all of this with Wellspring. Kills with this weapon generate ability energy. This energy is divided between your uncharged abilities, and that grants you 8% ability energy. And like all of these other perks, this can stack. So if you get a bunch of kills, you'll just be stacking on more and more ability energy. So all three of these traits are going to be focused around giving you back ability energy. And this also being much more heavily focused on your grenade, which I think is just going to be better, especially since this is an arc weapon, so you're probably going to be wanting to use it with an arc subclass. You mix this with a pulse grenade that can also jolt enemies, then you mix that with, say, a crown of tempest, and you're just getting ability energy on all of your abilities, your super, and doing ridiculous amounts of AoE damage. And then for your barrel roll, you're going to want quick launch for more velocity and handling, and then you're going to want high velocity rounds for your magazine, which is more velocity, more reload speed. You do have some options when it comes to the masterwork. I like reload speed. With the perks that are coming on this weapon, you're going to want to be using this as a main weapon. So you're going to constantly be reloading it. And I think that's just much better than any of the other masterworks. And then depending on what content you're doing, you'll probably want to just use minor spec to make sure you get all those kills. But if you're noticing you're killing all of the miners, you could potentially go to major if there's going to be more majors to try to help you land those final blows on those, but probably just minor spec and you're going to be good to go. And I actually got incredibly lucky because this is the exact role I got as one of my first forbearance roles. Now you may be asking, why wouldn't you just use Chain Reaction instead of Wellspring? Chain Reaction is one of the big reasons why the original forbearance has always been such a ridiculous weapon. A wave frame grenade launcher that's super easy to hit tons of enemies with Chain Reaction just blows up everything on the screen. But Chain Reaction is getting heavily nerfed in the final shape, meaning getting a Demolitionist and Wellspring role is more future proof but depending on what type of build you're running, Demolitionist and Wellspring is just going to be better. Getting a lot more ability energy back, and even more specifically, being able to throw out your grenades a lot more can synergize with a lot of other elements of your build. I've been using this with a Crown of Tempest Arc Warlock build, and that means I want to be getting final blows with abilities pretty frequently. Getting a ton of ability energy back to spam on my grenades is just going to synergize much better than getting the additional damage of a chain reaction. And this this weapon and roll actually gets better if you're using it in the new onslaught mode, specifically on the Midtown map, because Midtown is primarily made up of a bunch of straight lanes where all of the enemies are going to be coming in a straight path towards you, and you can pretty much shoot a waveframe grenade 
grenade launcher anywhere down that path and you're probably going to hit almost every enemy coming down that path. So it's super easy to hit just tons of enemies, get tons of kills, get all of your abilities back super quickly. And I mentioned that these rolls are going to be more future proofed than using something like chain reaction because it's getting nerfed in the final shape. But all of these brave weapons are also going to be enhanceable in the final shape. So we'll be able to get enhanced demolitionist and enhanced wellspring, both of which are going to increase the amount of ability energy you get from final blows. So this is even going to get better in the final shape and you can enhance this. So this weapon is even going to get more ridiculous at allowing you to just spam out as many abilities as you want. And it may also have some interesting interactions with the new prismatic subclass because the origin trait indomitability, which gives you different ability energy back depending on if you're a light or dark subclass, may just be giving you both of those effects when you're playing prismatic. Because going off of the wording of this trade, it makes me think that because prismatic is going to be both, that you'll be able to get five percent melee and grenade energy on any final blow if you're playing prismatic with this and if that's the case this thing's going to get even better in the final shape when you're specifically playing prismatic so it's going to be completely ridiculous and it may even be better when you're playing prismatic because when you go into transcendence and get those new grenades that seem completely overpowered this weapon's going to be even better because more of the ability regen you're getting from this is based upon your grenades so you'll just be able to spam out more of these overpowered grenades. So all in all, this is one of the most ridiculous weapons in the game, and it doesn't even come from a raid or a dungeon. It comes from an activity that you can infinitely farm that's pretty easy if you want to do it on normal mode, but much more rewarding if you're able to farm it on legend. So I would definitely recommend trying out this forbearance roll, but that's all I want to go over. So thanks for watching.